Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, December 14th, 2020. Precipitation for the past 14 days is shown here. It's been a pretty dry couple of weeks across much of the Great Basin. Um, this little pocket here in central Nevada is closer to normal as well as far southeast Utah, but for the most part very much below normal for uh, the first couple of weeks of December. Good news is uh, there's change. Uh, to that forecast. So we will be seeing some snow rolling in with a couple of storms. So the snow is shown here for the past 20 or 72 hours. Um, we have seen a good amount move into central Nevada and then also hitting the higher elevations of Utah um, over the past day or so and then also um, on, on uh, over the weekend on Friday we did see some snow move in. Idaho amounts have been a little bit lighter but the snow depth is best currently over central Idaho and western Wyoming. This morning's satellite imagery is showing a low pressure system moving through the Great Basin today. This is kicking off uh, those snowstorms in uh, much of the Great Basin, the northern two-thirds anyway. This will move through throughout the day today uh, before clearing out over the next few days. So by this evening and overnight that storm will be moving off to the east with cool, uh, cold and clear air moving in behind under that northerly flow. Ventilation rates are somewhat low across the north and eastern Utah, but a little bit higher over southern Nevada and western Utah. Um, we do have higher wind speeds over southern Nevada uh, and the mixing heights are a little bit higher over southern Nevada and southern Utah today as well as that front, th that low moves through. On Tuesday, uh, some more moisture remains in place across the north, uh, but drying across the south, and ventilation rates are pretty low under that cool uh, northerly flow. Uh, wind speeds are a little bit higher across the north with that next little uh, short wave in the trough coming through, but mixing heights are still fairly low. Wednesday, another generally dry day across the south with um, some moisture in place remaining in place over Idaho and northeast Nevada. Ventilation rates are still pretty low across the area. Slightly higher wind speeds still remaining across the north, Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Nevada, but mixing heights are still very low with that cold air. The clearing index uh, is shown here, yesterday's values, and then today we have some higher values over western Utah, um, but after Monday the clearing index really decreases through midweek um, for some pretty low values. Three-day precip totals are shown here. Uh, best chance, or the highest precip totals anyway, still coming into western Idaho. That They st they will stay in the storm track over the next couple of days, but for northern most northern Nevada and Utah today is the day as that low moves through and then we'll dry out after today. Uh, the next storm that moves further south into the Great Basin is coming Thursday into Friday here. We do see another low moving through bringing some showers. This is a little bit slower moving so we'll see some um, the showers maintain through Thursday into Friday. Ventilation rates pick up over Idaho and Nevada and across southern Utah on Thursday. And then Friday, uh, another little shot of moisture across the north. Ventilation rates l are lower across the north in Nevada and uh, coming up a bit over southern Nevada and Utah as that air clears out. And then by Saturday, it looks like some drier air really returns to Utah and Nevada and even across Idaho and lower ventilation rates region-wide. Maintain that generally dry pattern into Sunday. With low ventilation rates. The accumulations for days four and five are really uh, best chance over the higher elevations of Utah up into western Wyoming and then of course western Idaho as well. As that next storm comes in, um, much of Nevada will remain on the dry side. The extended forecast for the week of December 1st through the 27th is calling for below normal temperatures across the Great Basin and an above normal chance for precip mainly across the north with a drier signal across the south. 
And this concludes today's fire uh, smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Wednesday for the latest update.